Is it possible that you just might hate God? The Bible says that the haters of the Lord would pretend submission to Him. Now, if that verse describes you, then it just might be that you hate God. If your lifestyle is a lifestyle that's so hypocritical to the Word of God, then this might describe you. If you can walk in sin and it doesn't bother you, then this verse just might describe you. So what does it mean to pretend submission? You see, it's those types of Christians that they serve God with their lips, but their hearts are far from Him. They indulge in evil and sin, but they say they love Him. They say that they're Christian, but when you peer into the pages of their life, all you see is a son of hell. There's no submission to God. They confess to be Christians. They confess to be believers. They confess to be born again. But their lifestyle says something exactly opposite. It's a fake submission to God. And the truth is, is that they desire not to submit to God. They love their sin. They love this world. All throughout the scripture, we are commanded to submit to God. James tells us to therefore submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Now the interesting thing is that this word submit that James uses comes from a Greek word which means to simply submit to one's control. It is also used as a Greek military term meaning to arrange troops and divisions in a military fashion under the submission of one ruler, under the command of one leader. And when we visualize that and we visualize soldiers that are all in ranks and lines, perfectly lined up under the control of one leader, we can see the body of Christ, how we're supposed to be. But the thing is that that soldier who steps out of line is faking submission. This is the type of believer that the scriptures are speaking of when it says that the haters of the Lord would pretend submission to him. The type of soldier that desires not to walk like the rest of the soldiers that are under the command of one leader. And when I think about it, I think about how the army marches together all in one synchronized fashion. They lift their legs together. They march together to the beat of one drum. They are in one accord. And that is a direct reflection of how the body of Christ should walk. But just like any army, you have the soldier who pretends submission. I love it in the book of Psalms when God says to the wicked, What right have you to declare my statutes or to take my covenant in your mouth, seeing you hate instruction and cast my words behind you? This is the type of believer who fakes submission. God says, What right have you to even declare my statutes, keep my covenant out of your mouth because it has nothing to do with you? He says that you hate instruction and you cast my words behind you. This is the type of Christian when you try to correct them in sound doctrine and sound scripture that they always try to find an excuse or a loophole in the system when there is no loopholes in the word of God for sin. Sin is sin and sin leads to death. There's no way around it. There's no escape. But you hate instruction. You cast his words behind you. The same passage goes on to tell us that when you saw a thief, you consented with and have been a partaker with adulterers. You give your mouth to evil, and your tongue frames deceit. You sit and speak against your brother. You slander your own mother's son. These things you have done, and I have kept silent. You thought that I was altogether like you, but I will rebuke you and set them in order before your eyes. The issue is that most believers think that God is just like them. But God is nothing like us. God is holy and he desires and calls for us to be holy. But we miss the standard by far. And so this passage goes on to tell us to consider this. You who forget God, lest I tear you in pieces and there be none to deliver you. Whoever offers praise glorifies God. And to him who orders his conduct aright, I will show the salvation of God. You see, salvation comes to those who have truly repented. But the thing is, we hate His instruction. And those who fake submission to God hate God. You see, it goes right back to repentance when it speaks of the one that orders His conduct aright. And it says to this one that I will show the salvation of God. But the problem is, is that so many people fake submission to God. 
They don't love him. They hate his commandments. They hate the scriptures. They hate the truth. I mean, they know how to dress up like a Christian. They know how to speak the lingo of a Christian. But deep inside, they are not a Christian. They are not a believer. They are not a follower of Christ. They were a follower of self. And they hate God. This is why Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. In other words, he was saying that those who keep my commandments love me because they go hand in hand. You cannot love Jesus and keep not his commandments. This is why he said that he who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. In other words, you can have his commandments, but if you don't keep them, Jesus is saying that you don't love him. So I don't care if you sing the hymn, Oh, how I love Jesus, until your face turns blue. If you don't keep his commandments, that song is just words to you. You don't love him. That's why John says, for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not a burdensome. If keeping his commandments is a burden to you, then you might not love him. And according to scriptures, if you love him, you'll keep his commandments. But the haters of the Lord would pretend submission to him. Show me a Christian that keeps his commandments and I'll show you a Christian that loves him. Show me a so-called Christian that doesn't keep his commandments and I'll show you a so-called Christian that hates God. They might not confess it with their mouth, but in their lifestyles and in their works, they deny him. If you were that convinced that God is real and that he calls men to live holy, that you would be doing everything in your power to keep his commandments. You would be fasting, spending hours in prayer and worshiping, just trying to be conformed more and more into the image of Christ. You would go without sleep. You would go without rest just to be more and more like Christ, just to soak more and more of the words into your spirit. But if you are the type of Christian that pretends submission to God, even if you think otherwise, you hate God.